Hello and welcome to Pixel Magic Tutorials. I am your host Geekman and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a custom pattern known as the Metal Mesh Pattern. Uh, once again, a couple of assumptions before I begin. First of all, I am going to be using Photoshop CC 2015. If you're using an earlier version, some of the options I talk about may not be available to you. Also, I am using Windows, so if I say hit the control key on your keyboard, what I mean for a Mac user is the command key, and if I say hit the alt key on your keyboard on a Mac, that means the option key. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. What we're going to be doing today is create a pattern. Now a pattern can be, f it can be used to fill anything from a background to a shape to letters. Now we're going to be using this and uh, previously I also did a, uh, a video on how to create your own custom star brushes. Now we're going to be using both those brushes and this pattern in a future uh, tutorial that I'm going to be showing you. So for right now, let's just get started with creating the actual pattern that we'll be using. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new document. Let's hit Control N on our keyboard to bring up the new file uh, dialog box, and then let's turn, let's name this uh, Mesh Pattern. Uh, we're going to make this only 200 pixels by 200 pixels by 150 pixels per inch, RGB, the background color, or you can change that to white if you want, uh, RGB 1998 of course, square pixels, hit OK, and we now have our document. Now we're going to zoom in, now you can zoom in by uh, hitting, uh, double clicking on the hand icon that will fill your screen with your image, which is what we really want to do. So now we have a full image here of what our working space. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on our foreground color and we're going to change this to a dark gray. I'm going to use 353535, which is a nice dark gray. Hit OK. Uh, and then we're going to create a new layer. So we're going to go down to our Create New Layer icon in the bottom right of our Layers palette. Create a new layer above there and we're going to name this Circle. Hit OK. And then we're going to go to our elliptical marquee tool and we're going to set the options as follows. It's going to be a new selection, which is the first button up here on the upper left. Then we're going to have feather at zero, smooth edges. Uh, Anti-alias is going to be here. Uh, we're going to have uh, style is going to be fixed size. And we're going to make this 16 by 16 pixels. 16 by 16 pixels. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click anywhere in our document and create that circle. And then we're going to fill that circle with our foreground color, our gray. So we're going to hit Alt and Backspace to fill that with gray. Then we're going to select the entire image, which is Control A, and we now have the marching ants along the entire image. And then we're going to center this by going to the uh, move tool, or you can just press V on your keyboard, and then we're going to use the center uh, and center vertically, center horizontal and center vertically, and we now have our dot in the very center of our document. Next, we are going to deselect everything, so control D for deselect, and then we're going to give this circle a new inner uh, shadow layer style. So we're going to go to make sure that we have selected our circle layer and we're going to go to our effects, layer um, effects, and we're going to go to inner shadow. Now we're going to make our blend mode, we're going to leave as multiply, the color we're going to keep as black. The opacity will be 100%. We're not going to use, glo use global light and we're going to make the angle 120 degrees. The distance will stay as 3, choke is going to be 0, and the size is going to be 3. Uh, contour will stay the same, anti-aliased is unchecked, noise is 0, and that is all that we're going to do with this circle. Hit OK. Now if I zoom in, you'll be able to see that we have this nice dark uh, inner shadow that makes it look like this circle is recessed into the page. So that's what we're looking for. 
So now just to make things a little bit easier, let's uh, collapse the effects of the layer circle by clicking on the little arrow that I just clicked on next to the name circle and effects. And then we're going to duplicate this layer. Now you can drag it down to the create new layer icon, which will duplicate, or you can hit control J, which will create a duplicate of the circle. Then we're going to move this circle up by 18 pixels. Now the way that we're going to do that is not by moving it with our move tool like this and hoping that we get it up by 18 pixels. We're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to hit shift and the up arrow on our keyboard twice. Each time you hit the up arrow when you're holding down shift, the item will move 10 pixels. So we're going to go shift up twice and then we're going to let go of shift and we're going to hit the down arrow twice and we are now exactly 18 pixels above our original circle. Now you're going to need to create some guides so make sure that you have your rulers on uh, and you can do that by going to view show uh, I'm sorry by going to view rulers and making sure that it's checked. Once you have it uh, showing you can drag a ruler down from the top to the center of our newly moved and created circle. So now we're going to create a few more of these circles. So we're going to go back to our original circle layer by clicking on the original circle layer. And we're going to duplicate that by hitting Control J. And then we're going to move this to the left by 16 pixels. So we're going to hit Shift and the left arrow twice. And then we're going to hit the right arrow after letting go of the Shift four times, two, three, and four. Then we're going to move the, arrow, the new circle up by 9 pixels and we'll do that by holding down shift and then the up arrow once and then the letting go of shift and hitting the down arrow once. And then just like before we're going to need a guideline here so we're going to go to the left ruler and click and drag out a new guideline and put it in the center of this newly created circle. Okay now this uh, the current circle that we are working on we are now going to duplicate that control J and then we're going to move that down by 18 pixels by hitting shift and the down arrow twice and then letting go of shift and the up arrow twice. And then we're going to select both of these circles so we're going to hit first this one and then this one we're going to select them both by clicking on one circle copy three and then holding shift and circle copy two and then we're going to duplicate those by hitting control J and then we're going to move these new copies to the right by 32 pixels and we'll do that by holding down shift and the right arrow one two three letting go of shift and then moving them two more clicks to the right and then we will go back to the left hand ruler, click and drag out another guideline and snap it to the center of the circles on the right. Then we need to go back to our original circle layer, so let's click over here on the original circle layer. We're going to duplicate that again, control J, and then we're going to move that down by 18 pixels by hitting shift and the down arrow twice, letting go of shift, and then the up arrow twice. Once we have that, we are going to go up to the top ruler. We're going to click and drag that down to the center of that newly created dot. And as you can see, we now have a perfect square, which will create the actual pattern. Now, the way that we're going to make our pattern is by using the rectangular marquee tool. So we got to go up to our rectangular marquee click and get to the rectangular marquee and we're going to use the following settings. We're going to leave it as, uh, as a regular uh, selection. We're going to have feather at zero. Our style will be a fixed size. Width will be 32 and the height will be 36. Then we're going to move down to the actual document and we're going to click anywhere up here in the upper left is fine to create the new selection. Then we're going to click inside of the selection and drag it to the center of our document and it should line up perfectly with the guides that we just put out. Okay, once you have this uh, pa uh, pattern defined area, what we're going to want to do is turn off the background. Now a lot of people will leave the background on, uh, but I prefer to turn it off because then the pattern has a transparent background and you can put this over any color and you'll see uh, your color or you'll see your background through it. So what I like to do is I like to go to the background, let's turn off the white. Then we're going to go up here to Edit, Define Pattern, and we're going to name this pattern 
mesh. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm naming it mesh01. We'll hit OK, and we now have a defined pattern. And that's really all there is to it. If you want to test out the pattern, let's create a new document. And we'll create this at, um, let's make it 1920 by 1080, standard high def. Uh, we'll hit OK. And then we'll go to, uh, we'll create a new layer to put this on. And we will go Edit, Fill, Pattern. And we will choose the new pattern that we just created. Mesh Pattern 1. Leave it Mode, Normal, Opacity 100. We're not going to preserve transparency. Uh, and we're going to hit OK. And that's really all there is to it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and follow us. There'll be new tutorials every week. Thank you, and this is Geekman signing off for Pixel Magic Tutorials.